A Roseville High School senior is shot and killed in a home with her six week old daughter nearby last night. Yeah, just awful. Police have arrested a suspect. The young woman's boyfriend is now in police custody. Local 4's Rod Maloney has more. It's an exceptionally sad incident that happened here at this house in East Point last night. The neighbors who don't want to go on camera tell us that the family has largely kept to itself, that there are young children who would come out and play in the yard, maybe play some basketball, but didn't talk to anybody. And the neighbors say they don't even know their name. But 17-year-old Roseville High School student Kira Seymour knows the family well. It's where her young baby's father lives. Yesterday afternoon, she came to visit her boyfriend and had their six-week-old child with her. Other families were apparently home at the time as well. Shortly before 4 p.m., somehow, Kira wound up shot and killed. East Point police responded, found her dead from a gunshot wound to the chest. They immediately took her boyfriend into custody for questioning. They're trying to answer whether the shooting was an accident or a deliberate act. Local 4 News has learned they confiscated several guns at the time. A press release issued by the East Point Police Department says they put together a package to send to the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office with an eye toward an arraignment tomorrow morning or afternoon. The prosecutor's office will determine what charges the young man might face. This case has deep impact and caused considerable interest in the community. Kira's mother started a GoFundMe page after her daughter's death and hundreds have donated so far. It's now surpassed the $11,000 mark in just hours. And to get an idea of just how this has impacted that community in Roseville, the high school today uh, put out on Facebook that uh, that Kira, in fact, did go to the high school there and that they have brought in counselors and they're encouraging students to go ahead and use the systems they have within the school system in order to be able to talk to those counselors. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Yeah. Okay, Rod, thanks.